Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today we're going to be continuing the strudel hunt that we started. Um, we're going to be doing some egg hatching um, and things. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you so much to you guys who um, are new to my channel, that have been subscribing, who've been watching all my content, has been commenting, everything. Um, I'm just so excited and grateful that you guys are um, engaging with me and wanting to um, stick around and watch the new things that I'm going to be creating. Um, and I'm so happy that you found the guide helpful that I made. Um, and are enjoying the new series of Pokemon Violet that I've started as well. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say thank you so much for subscribing or just, you know, even just watching the video um, or coming back to seeing my other, my other um, series um, and things. So I just wanted to say yeah again, thank you so much. Um, I also want to apologise in advance if I sound a bit congested or um, a bit raspy. I think I'm coming down with a cold. Um, and my throat has been quite sore, um, so yeah, um, this episode may not be the longest, we'll see how long my voice, um, keeps out, but, um, we'll just have to, have to see, but I'm excited to continue with this egg hatch, um, I've been doing a few other hatches as well, um, some festive, uh, ones, which, um, I've chosen a few different Pokemon that I feel like are seasonal, uh, seasonally appropriate, for the holidays um, and I'm still working towards some of them so I hope you guys are enjoying that or looking forward to seeing what other Pokemon that I have chosen for that series. Um, it's been a lot of fun and I've had some really amazing work with it so far. Um, the first uh, the first one I did, I, I don't know how you pronounce the Pokemon's name, SQ, something like that. Um, I got in 25 eggs, 24, 25 eggs, I can't remember exactly what number it was, um, but that was insane luck. Um, and then for Delibird it was 124 eggs I believe, or 125 eggs I believe, I can't remember again. Um, so again that was pretty, pretty good luck. Um, and the one I'm currently hunting for right now I'm not having that same luck. Um, it's been going on a little while, but... Um, I'm doing a mixture of both Gen 9 and Scarlet and Violet hatching uh, just to keep it interesting um, because I, I really enjoyed uh, Sword and Shield myself personally um, and I do enjoy egg hatching in that game um, so I decided just to do some different ones and it also means I can kind of work on multiple um, hatches at a time um, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure how many of those are going to be released before Christmas. Um, it depends on um, my luck, really. Um, but we'll kind of uh, just go from there and see um, how many I can do. I'll probably make it like a yearly thing to do some festive um, hatching around this time of year. Um, just to see how many of the like um, ice types or Christmassy themed Pokemon we can, we can get shiny. I think I've... yes completely hatched all of them so let's switch them out I did the um, the two the egg uh, power two and I actually ended up with nearly three boxes of eggs which I um, which is the best amount of eggs I've ever gotten which is really cool um, I found I used a I think it was a peanut butter and banana I forget what the actual sandwich is called, but there that's what the ingredients was um, for the sandwich. I know there's multiple level two um, egg uh, power, but um, that one seemed like more of one of the simpler ones um, that I've made because there's another one that has a lot of ingredients and you have to layer them very carefully, uh, which actually is a lot trickier than you think that it is. Um, but but yeah, I. I've been enjoying the uh, level 2 um, power in comparison to the level 1 because yeah you do definitely get more eggs in the same amount of time um, in comparison which is obviously the point of it um, but it, um, I feel like they've balanced it quite well so um, but I actually the other day in this save file 
uh, completed the uh, final gym and also uh, completed the uh, final Titan Pokemon and also um, finished the story and did the uh, major boss battle um, for um, Team Star as well. So apart from doing the League um, and going to... Uh, I'm not going to spoil it, but go into the next part of the story after the Titan Pokemon. Um, I've already done like the main one of the main battles for that part of the story, um, but I've still got some um, end game stuff to do basically, um, and do the uh, the Elite Four as well. So I've nearly I've nearly completed the playthrough of this game. Um, and I'm excited to continue my uh, Let's Play, my shiny only Let's Play as well, um, which I'm going to be filming more of this afternoon, I think, uh, depending on how my throat is um, after filming this video. Um, but if not, I will film some more later in the week, hopefully, if I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, but I think it's just this time of year, it's been extremely cold where I live. Um, we've been in the minuses um, pretty much consistently throughout the day. Um, we even had some snow. Um, in some places in the UK, I actually got snowed in. Um, thankfully, we didn't actually have that, that, that amount of snow. It was quite a light dusting, um, really. Um, and it kind of, some of it froze um, because of how cold it has been um, into ice. Um, but um, I lost my train of thought was that the last? that was the last one I'm trying to um, make sure that I pay more attention to the hatching um, because the previous ones I end up just going around in circles um, without switching the eggs out so I think I'm doing a little bit better this time I'm going to try and concentrate as I'm doing it um, I find using this location actually is a little bit easier um, for for me um, because I do pay a bit more attention to it um, rather than just going around in the circles um, in the other town. I forget the name of it. Um, as much as I've enjoyed this game, I just I can't remember the town names. It takes me a long time to learn things like that and like the new Pokemon names and things. Um, it's just information that I really struggle to maintain. Um, but the more I play this game and everything, the uh, the more I'll um, start to learn it. And I think with doing the Let's Play as well, um, actually speaking the names out loud and stuff will help me remember a little bit more. Um, but I'm excited to start shiny hunting for my team. Um, we nearly have gotten through the beginning story part of the game, um, in which then we can actually start shiny hunting. Um, I'm going to be starting with the starter. Uh, for Coco, I think. Um, and hopefully we have some decent luck with that. Um, I've been watching a few other YouTubers do some egg hatching for the starters and some of them have had good luck and other ones have had um, insanely bad luck. Um, when you, one, one YouTuber in particular went over 2,000 eggs um, for their shiny Foy Coco, um, which was pretty insane. Um, but that's just the way that the Masuda method works, you know, it's you either get really good luck or you get really bad luck. Um, and you just have to continue until, until you get the shiny, you know, so. Um, but it can feel really disheartening when you get to a certain point, um, especially if you're way over odds. Um, because it just, it feels like a grind then. Um, but I think it will be worth it in the end and being able to have a full shiny team would be pretty cool um one day i might go back i actually finished breeding my shiny team for a uh, pokemon sword or shield depending on which version i decide to play um and um i was planning on doing a shiny only let's play for that um but then obviously scarlet and violet came out by the time i got all the shinies that i needed um because I had insanely bad luck on quite a few of the of the Pokemon I was hacking for. Um, I think I had um, Melotic or Feebas um, in, I think it was like 50 or 60 eggs or something like that, and that was my best luck out of all of them, and then other ones I had over 900, so um, 
which isn't like horrendously bad but um, in terms of how long it takes um, to hatch eggs in Sword and Shield I find is actually a lot slower. Um, it feels a lot slower compared to this game. I feel like the mechanic and the system that they have in this game definitely makes uh, hatching eggs and everything feel a lot faster. Um, is that the last one it was? So I really do enjoy shiny hunting in this game. I feel like it feels like less of a drag. Maybe it's just because it's fresh and something new. Um, maybe that's why I feel that way. Um, but just in general, I like the sandwich making. I like collecting all the eggs and then um, hatching them like this. Which, to be fair, you could probably do in Sword. I just I never did it that way. Um, I collected the eggs as I was hatching them. Um, I'm curious, how, uh, which way did you shiny hunt in Pokemon Sword and Shield? Did you uh, mass collect eggs to begin with and then hunt, uh, hatch them all? Or did you do what I did and um, uh, collect the eggs as you're hatching them? I'm just curious to know um, if uh, the different ways that people shiny hunted on that game. Um, I think it's pretty cool, the uh, different methods that people use. Um, and it's just cool to see the variety as well. So. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like the question of the day, really. But let's hatch some more of these eggs. But I'm super excited um, because my PC is finally set up. I think I was talking about it in my last couple of videos. Um, of the hatching videos actually that I was using a temporary setup with my laptop um, and um, plugging everything in and it was just a nightmare because uh, there was just cables everywhere and it was a hassle to try and set everything up um, but not the weekend just gone but the weekend before we actually set up uh, my computer um, I did all the cable management and everything it looks awesome it works perfectly fine um, we were able to um, order a few extra cables and get my uh, drawing tablet connected to my PC which I haven't been able to do before which is amazing so I can start working on some of my projects and everything. Um, but it also meant that I can have webcam back um, which I've been using in other videos um, and it just means that actually sitting down to record is just so much easier than it was before. Um, I haven't done webcam today just because I'm not feeling well um, and I don't think you want to see uh, the way I look uh, with not feeling very good so um, that's the reason but the next uh, shiny hatching video probably will have face cam back and everything like that um, depending on how I'm feeling and things um, but I still enjoy being able just to have a chat and have a chill, you know, uh, just hatching some eggs and um, and things like that. Um, I just enjoy being able just to have a conversation and um, talk about what things are going on in my life and uh, different things about Pokemon or uh, news or anything like that. It's just a way to be able to connect with you guys in a bit more of a personal level um, compared to some of the Let's Plays and things where uh, my main focus is the actual game, you know, so um, I appreciate being able to to do this um, and this sort of egg hatching and everything gives me the opportunity to, so let's switch out these ones. There we go. I think we'll uh, aim to hatch a box um, today and then um, I will hatch the rest of the eggs in the next video. Um, I might do some, I think I mentioned this last time, I can't really remember, it's been a while since I filmed this. Um, I might do some more hatching off, off camera as well um, just to get some of the numbers up there but um, I probably still will be partially recording it so that way I can um, get the um, the hatch so I can put that on YouTube for you guys to watch 
um, but at the same time I quite enjoy being able to um, have a full reaction to the shiny um, so I may just um, keep this solely for the YouTube um, and there would just be um, excuse me lots of videos depending on how long it takes um, to hatch to hatch the shiny um, again like I said before it depends on the luck that we have and the um, odds and everything like that um, I'm soon going to be working on once I finish the other parts of the end game I'm going to be working on my pokédex so I can get the shiny charm which will increase the odds um, as well so any future hatch that we do um, will have the increased odds um, as well and I'll be doing that um, for the let's play game um, save as well um, I'd like to complete the pokédex um, because you know that's an important part of the game and then maybe we can do some shiny hunting I want to post game as well do some um, uh, mass outbreaks um, because there are definitely ways of increasing your odds um, through that um, but they say that having the shiny charm just makes it a lot better so I've kind of been holding off on that until I get the shiny charm um, and then I'm gonna um, look up some videos on properly how to do it because I've seen different ways that people have done it and I'm not sure which is the most effective or most efficient way of hatching, um, not hatching, of uh, encountering Pokemon um, to be able to find the shiny. Um, so I'll definitely be looking into that after, um, after I finish the main story um, because I want to be able to um, hunt for a uh, shiny Pokemon in many different ways so I can I don't get too bored with just egg hatching and stuff you know so um, hopefully I will be able to understand that and we'll be able to get some pretty cool shinies through that um, as well I've been seeing a lot of like the mass outbreaks and everything coming up on my map um, and there's been a couple that I've been really tempted by um, but um, I know that the odds aren't particularly in my favour until I get the shiny charm, so um, I have been holding off on it. Um, I did, um, you'll be seeing this uh, very soon, I did get my first um, raid shiny the other day, completely random, um, and I'm not going to tell you what it is because this uh, video will be going up before that video, um, but you'll see that in the next video. Um, I was just doing some raids to get some, I think I yeah, patched all of them, um, I was just uh, doing some raids to be able to get some XP uh, candy and stuff to level up my team ready for the next, I think it was to do the uh, final uh, team star base um, and um, I came across a shiny and I didn't even realise it until the very end that it was shiny um, and um, apparently it's pretty rare to um, be able to uh, find one of those because um, it is full odds and things like that so that was pretty awesome and I was really happy with that I never got a shiny raid in Pokemon Sword and Shield and I've, I've got like probably nearly a thousand hours combined for different save files in that game um, and so yeah I never got one even in the, um, the lair um, I think is what it's called um, on the DLC island um, I never got a shiny there either so um, be to be able to get that pretty early on in hours in uh, Violet was pretty was pretty awesome so um, but yeah no um, go watch that video when it comes out it should be coming out on the 18th um, and I just um, I filmed it and everything um, because I was just so surprised uh, that I actually got the um, that I got the shiny and it was lucky that I was recording when I was doing it. Um, I obviously I just had a gut feeling that something like that was going to happen, but I had no idea. Um, so that was so that was also being able to capture that. Um, I just need to take a drink for a second. My throat is starting to get quite scratchy. You know, I think there's been a lot of colds and everything going around just because of the weather. The 
time of year and everything um, and stress and everything like that as well uh, doesn't help um, but I'm sure it will it will be what it will be um, I just hope I get better before Christmas um, because I don't want to not enjoy time with family um, but I'm sure it'll be fine uh, it'll probably last probably the most a week um, but I'm going Christmas shopping at some point uh, twice this week actually <coughs> with uh, my family and partner um, to get last minute Christmas gifts um, I wonder um, how you guys are getting on with your Christmas shopping has it been a massive rush for you or are you already done um, I have handmade quite a few gifts this year um, so I'm just getting um, some other gifts to go with uh, what I've already made um, so everyone has already pretty much got a gift already um, it's just finding um, some things for a few other family members um, but but yeah it should be fun it'd be nice to get out of the house to go um, have some fresh air and things so was that the last one it was I think that is the box but yeah it would be good to go get some uh, have some nice food and uh, enjoy the Christmas lights and everything as well um, but yeah, I just want to say thank you guys again for all your support um, and I hope you continue enjoying all my content um, and everything. But I think I'm going to end this episode here and I'm going to go make myself a hot tea or something um, to soothe my throat. Um, but yeah, there will be uh, some more uh, Pokemon Violet at the Let's Play um, coming out very soon. Um, like I say, I'm planning on filming some more this afternoon, hopefully. Um, or if not, um, Thursday probably. Um, and that, so they will be up uh, next week, uh, probably, so the next one will be out next Tuesday, uh, which will be, let me check the, the date on that, just in case you're interested, it will be the 20th, um, unless I um, get any out before then, um, but you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, no shiny today, but hopefully we'll get it next time, um, actually, before I do finish, let me just uh, add up so we did 30 more, so we are on 235 eggs hatched so far for Shrewdle now. Um, so, so yeah, um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!